Ninja. Hello and welcome to this, the seventh and final video in the Windows Movie Maker Basics series. And in this video, we'll be learning how to save and render your edits. Many beginners with Windows Movie Maker don't realize that saving and rendering your video are two different things. Saving your edit does not make a movie. It just saves your whole project so that next time you can continue from where you left off. To do this, simply click on File and then choose Save Project As, then give your project a name. You can also choose where to save the file by clicking on Browse Folders. Choose your destination, in this case I'm going to save it to the desktop, and click Save. The project will then be saved to the desktop as an MSWWW project. Double clicking on the icon will open your edits from where you left it. Rendering is what turns your edit into an actual movie. Now for reasons best known to Microsoft, they prefer to call rendering publishing. And to find the publishing facility, you can either use the publish section here at the bottom of the tasks column, or alternatively, click on file and then publish movie. Both methods will offer you the same four options. This computer, recordable CD, email, and digital video camera. For most normal purposes, it's best to go with the This Computer option, as this will produce the best quality file, which can always be burnt to disk or emailed later on, should you so wish. So just click Next, and here you can give your movie a name. I'll just call it Test. And you can also decide where to put the file. I'll put mine on the desktop. And then click Next. We're then taken to this panel, which will allow you to compress your video to a specific size. Or you can choose from a number of different formats here, but for the best quality possible, it's always the best idea to go with the default settings here. And now to start the rendering process, just click Publish. The time it takes to render your video will depend on its length, and of course, the speed of your computer. The progress bar here will show you how your render is going. And when it is finalized, just click Finish. If this box is checked, your movie will automatically play in the media player. So I'm just going to unclick it. Now your movie file will have been created at the place you specified. In this case, on the desktop. And will of course be rendered in MWV format. That's Windows Media Video. And there you are, you have just produced your very own movie. Well, I hope this series has been of some help to you. All seven videos in the series will be available as a playlist on the Media channel. So why not subscribe and make sure that you don't miss out on any future goodies. And for those of you that are subscribed, I'll see you next time on the Media channel. Yeah.